In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full guide on how to activate great runes in Elden Ring. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helps. So the first things first, what are great runes? Well, when you defeat a major boss inside of Elden Ring, they're going to drop what's called a great rune. And if you've beat any of the major bosses, uh, you will have them in your inventory. So if you go over to the key item section, they should be up here. You can see for me, I've got Godric's great rune, Radan's great rune and great rune of the unborn. Now I believe there are a lot more in the game. Uh, I think at least 12 maybe. Now the way these actually work is that if you use a um, a rune arc then it's going to give you the powers that the great rune has. So for example Godric's one raises all attributes, uh, Radan's one raises maximum HP, FP and stamina and this one is used to perfect rebirth. Now, the thing is, you're gonna to have to activate these first to actually use them. And if I go down here into my inventory, you can see I have these other ones here, which are not yet activated. Now to activate them, it's pretty easy. Now activating each great rune or restoring the power of them is different for each one. You're gonna to have to go to a different location, but I'll show you how to do it for the first one or one of the main ones, which is Godric's uh, great rune. So. We're going to have to go over into our map here and we want to go down to this location here which is called Rampart Tower and we just want to travel to this location. So once we're here we actually have to follow a little bit of a route to get there so you want to turn around and you want to go through this room here. I want to go over to the lift and then from the lift we just want to go down in it to the lower floor here. I want to go through here. And we're going to want to run right to the end of here. And then we want to go through here, um, right through this door here, all the way through here. And we're going to go take a right. There's going to be a lot of people here trying to shoot you. Take a hard right. And we're going to travel down here, uh, trying to avoid as many people as possible. <laughs> as you can see, I'm just jumping out the way of all of them. You want to travel all the way down here to this gate here. Next, we want to go through here. Once we've got to the bottom, we want to go left and we're going to run through this little entrance here. And we're just going to run all the way through here. Past all of these like guard looking things here. And you're going to come here. You want to just go up the stairs. You might want to activate this site of grace if you haven't done already. We're going to keep going all the way up and basically going to make our way to the end of this road um, until we get to this tower here. And there's going to be a lot of um, things on the way here. So you can see there's a giant that's um, making his way up right now. Just avoid him if you can. You don't need to fight him. It's not part of it at all. There might be a few giants here. I'd recommend hiding behind these pillars as well because there's going to be a, a giant up here who has a bow and arrow. So just be careful of that. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to get to this portal here which we just want to examine and we want to travel through it to the next location. And now we just want to go through here. Uh, this is the castle. We just want to go all the way through here onto this platform here and this will take us to the top of this castle. So just on this platform and wait a second. Then you should get to the top of the tower. You can go out the top here and we can go here. We can rest at the side of grace. And then if we just go around all the way to the top of the tower, we should get to the point where we can activate the great rune. So basically you come up here, there'll be like a, a yellow thing, which is the great rune. You want to press Y or triangle and activate it and then you're going to be able to use the great rune. Now at this point when you use a rune arc you're going to be activating the great rune uh, but you do need to equip the great rune first and to do that you just want to go to a site of grace. So I'm just going to go to the one down here. So you just want to rest at the site of grace and then you can go down to where it says great runes and you can just select which rune you want. So I currently have Godric's great rune but there's loads you can do here um, once you've activated them all. I believe there's actually eight not twelve. Um, 
But yeah, you can go ahead and that's how you activate them. And every time you use a rune arc, you're going to be given the attributes from that great rune. So they're pretty useful and they're really good if you're in a tough battle, for example. But that's basically how you go about doing it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. They're helped. Thank you for watching.